dreams see no limits. Living in the borders of Compton and Watts, I was heading for a downward spiral by middle school. And in high school, I became a crystal meth addict. Got involved with gangs, was kicked out of four high schools, and I found myself praying for the very first time. And I asked God, God, remove these chains of addiction over my life. And that is exactly what God did. Tonight, seven years later, I stand before you, drug clean, gang free, and about to graduate. One day, I woke up with blurry sight in my eye, followed by 13 hospitalizations and 19 surgeries. Stroke, two seizures, and even had both of my eyes removed. We're all united by something. We all face challenges. Every single one of you in this room have faced an obstacle in your life. But we are all united by one thing, perseverance. We all need it. Four hour sessions of hemodialysis, three times a week, and two failing, unsuccessful stomach catheter surgeries. I want to show you something tonight. What do you see? A stick painted white with a red tip and a marshmallow? <laughs> but what do you really see? See, this is a white cane, and to me, my best friend. But this, like many of us, has gone through very difficult processes, but I had to persevere through those to be here tonight. I could fold it up, say, oh, you know what? I don't need it. Leave it under my bed, be prideful. But let me tell you something. We all need help. No one did it alone. Sure, I can use it as a doorstop or a weapon, but it doesn't fulfill its purpose until it takes me from point A to point B. What is your purpose? Do you know your purpose? On this card is a word in Braille, a language for the blind. I want you to pass your fingers over that Braille. What do you feel? Because on that card is a word purpose. And tonight, you can no longer say, I never felt purpose in my life because tonight you felt it. Oh, come on, young people. I know you can do better than that. Thank you.